Hello everyone, welcome back to another tip of the month. In today's tip of the month, we're going to be looking at creating safety bays for underground drifts. So as we can see here, we have a 3D drift drawn by the drift design module found in engineering. And what we would like to do is that if we hide this 3D, we have the walls and the center line. We want to be able to create safety bays along this wall here. So the north wall, basically. So the first thing to do is to go to the engineering module in drift design and we have a special command for that called safety bay. So this is one of the commands that is very easy to use and essentially all the other commands found in Promine in general are specifically developed for mining. So essentially each command offers you a user friendly experience that allows you to have these functions developed specifically for mining and this is what we will be using today. So we're going to click on the safety bay command and we're basically going to follow what's written in the dialog boxes as well as the command line. So here we have the dimensions of the safety bay. So we can adjust it to be let's say 4 by 4 by 4. So all these are unitless. And the spacing between each safety bay along the north wall here will be 30 units. And we're going to hit OK. Now we're going to select the wall polyline. So I want to select this one here. And the first location of the safety bay, we can place it right here. So now we can uh, select the bay direction. Since this is the wall on the north side, we're going to pick the upper direction. And the program will essentially insert our safety bay and will show us the next 30 meters away from this safety bay. So now we know that this is the maximum distance to which we will place the second safety bay. So we can click somewhere right before the X here. Again, pick the direction and we're going to follow the same process along the whole wall here in this manner like that and one more. And essentially once completed, once you reach the end of the wall, the program will end the insertion of the safety bays and you can simply hit escape. Now, if we want to do this in 3D, what we can do is essentially uh, go to the uh, 3D model command, select the center lines of each safety bay in this way, hit enter, and choose your uh, drift shape. And we're going to place this on the layer 3D, like that. And the program will proceed by creating your 3D models as well. And in this way, you'll be able to visualize your safety bays in 3D as well. And this concludes our tip of the month. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them below. Thank you for watching.